Hey guys, it's me. Don't turn the channel. It's You Got The Right Channel. This is Mountain Aromatics. Just a new look. How about this? I hope you like. So, I just want to first give a shout out to Alora for your love, kindness, support, generosity. I appreciate you so much for loving me and believing in me. Thank you very much. You are a beautiful person. So, I'm going over six more of the materials that are in the creatingperfume.com beginner's kit. And again, kind of like my other videos where I am just going off the top of my head from me using these and just giving a, a good description how best to use them and some other information about them. So I hope this is helpful. And again, all of this can be picked up um, on creatingperfume.com. So here we go. The first one I have is Jasmine Accord. I think I say this in every video, but if it says Accord like this, it's going to be an Accord made by Susan Lemon from creatingperfume.com. These are her professional Accords. It is just like you would think with Jasmine. It's very rich. It is sweet and to me, um, a, not like candy sweet, but a, um, a deep, luxurious sweet that you would smell all the white petal flowers like jasmine. That's what it's about. And what's interesting is there's this little hint of spice to it. And I don't mean like spices when you think of clove those kinds of spices. It's really different. It's a it's a different type of spice. It's like a a spice. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, okay? So a, a lot of times I've heard when those petals you'll see the coloration on the edges. Sometimes they turn red or a rusty color, that kind of stuff. That's a chemical change going on and that chemical change there is the kind of spicier note and um, th that is what I smell in here. So it's it's still very fresh and clean but it is I'm not gonna say that it's bright because I don't think of it as bright. I think it is more of rich and they always use the word nar narcotic because it is very heavy and probably could give you a headache if you just sit here and smell it over and over because it is just very rich but absolutely beautiful of all the different floral types for me the narcotics are the, my favorite absolutely my favorite I love them a whole lot um, so that is Jasmine Accord of course it's going to go with your oud or garwood. It's going to go with your other woods. It's going to go with different types of florals or you can keep your jasmines just as a jasmine by itself in a formula. Um, also goes really well with the orange. One more thing I wanted to say about this is that it does go pretty well with gel zone. G-E-L-S-O-N-E. -E. Um, and I, I don't know, I think sometimes it can go with some fruit, like dark fruit, in a not like just those two by itself. And now that I say that, it's a real possibility that that could work depending on what they are. Uh, good grief, that's the whole thing about fragrances is that you can play with that and I bet you can come up with something absolutely amazing so anyway I think it could go with some dark fruits and a good in a formula that um, that could turn out pretty well 
but I really enjoy it with the orange blossom a whole lot and obviously with rose like um, there's you know rose and jasmine together really play well and are beautiful on to our next one it is apple olefac so the apple olefac is um, I hope you can see this it's, um, it's a little bit thicker than um, water um, but it's not that thick it's just a little bit thicker it's not super thin is I guess the point it smells um, like really fresh sliced apples with the skin on you can definitely detect the skin if you so get an apple peel get that peel and just eat the peel by itself and obviously it's a different flavor and, and different aromas that you get it is in here it's awesome it I'm telling you it's not just the meat of the apple it is with the peel and that's why I love this so I'm saying it's complex it's not really a simple flat apple um, it's much more I really really enjoy it the other thing that I always tend to say with the fruits like this if is if they're like sweet or not and to me this is it's not dry but it's not really sweet there's a tiny bit of sweetness into it that's actually just perfect it's it's not a candy sweet at all which I don't think would be really helpful um, it has its place I'm sure but here it's just done perfect and I really really like this one especially because I detect that peel that's in here it's really beautiful you're gonna have fun with this one and um, putting that with all the other things that are in your kit really nice so the next one let me get this one right benzyl salicate uh, it is to me a, a balsam when I it's a little complex okay it's a lot complex it really is at first when you first smell it it seems a little simple but it's really not it um, I'm gonna just read some descriptions that are given for it and then I'm gonna tell you kind of what I get from it so fresh sweet balsam um, it is clean I agree with that for sure it's a slight herbal and I do get that it's a, that herbal be and because to me the this when you add it with your herbal notes and with your balsams it is going to be it's gonna give structure to it it this is the way I think about it when you have bricks and you have the mortar between the bricks and that's really what's holding it up and giving it structure that's what this does it's awesome I'm not saying it's a brick I'm saying it's the mortar and that's what's cool about it um, you can use this this is what's cool because I've done it you can use this with your ylang ylang your narcissus uh, those are the ones that are floral with that little spice in it um, it's and in the oriental kind of stuff it does wonders to it it's it's one of those ones when you um, s before you put this in if you can do your formula kind of shake it up and see if you can smell it then add this and find out the difference that's what I'm talking about it's gonna be good so give that a try it's really amazing because you can you're not limited to that to this and I guess that's what I'm saying it can go into a number of different formulas to do some good work for you that you're not gonna know until you add it so try to make a formula mix it up some smell it and then add that watch what happens you're gonna like it it's cool Iso E Super. So uh, when I say I've said her name a lot, Alora Dillon, 
she is drop by drop so head over there if you haven't already which I'm more than sure that you have but if you haven't you need to head over there and check out their videos and Vivian her daughter-in-law is the one who joins her and helps her out um, Vivian does a lot of behind the scenes work it's really cool she's awesome and hilarious she's hilarious I love her oh my god she's so funny oh I'm gonna get off on a tangent okay I so eat super it is really complex and I love it and again I, I'm gonna end up saying her name a million times but Alora really introduced me to this and I was like what's the deal with this well now I get it it's so awesome to me when I first smell it um, and again I'm gonna tell you what I think I get oud that's not all I get, but I'm just saying I get it oud. So it's the woody, a woody masculine, but it's not so masculine that you can't put it in a feminine formula and totally it be a feminine formula. Absolutely. That's, this is actually what will give you complexity and depth in a feminine, feminine formula. Because if you put this in just like a really woody formula, that kind of stuff, it's not going to give as much complexity as it will in a feminine formula just because of the way it is. And um, this is really smooth, really smooth. If, that's, if there was one thing I could say about it and I can only get one word, I would say smooth. So if you need to smooth out a formula, if you're kind of or working with it and you're like, I just need something to round this out or smooth it, this will absolutely work. It's um, ambergris. Ambergris, I'm still learning and um, I don't know. I'm just still learning because I've s smelled a couple of ambergris and to me they were they were radically different so the ambergris that's warm in here I love absolutely love it it's awesome it's really good I get wood there is a a slight I love the tobaccos if you watch my videos you know I love the tobaccos there's to me a tobacco in here I don't know that anybody in any review or anything that has ever said that but that's I detect it in here and I love that um, so this is unisex this is so amazing and I saw a reviewer who said this and it's true you could wear this by itself um, and in fact, they molecule one is this by itself. But it's just, it's really beautiful. It's really smooth, rounded, and um, play with it. It's really awesome. So the next one, I'm going to destroy the name, but whatever. Um, Hexanol Salicate Extra. Actually, there you go. It's not that bad. So it's the molecule that's found in Carnation absolute and it's um, a floral it's a green they say leather sweet balsamic herb wood moss lily um, that kind of stuff when you smell it it is really complex I didn't expect it to be as complex as it really is it has a water consistency I love using this in my florals, but here's what I really love to use it in. That I, no one says anything about it, but I'm about to. In the wood. So even if you have a really dark masculine, um, dark wood, light wood kind of stuff, put this in there and it doesn't turn it feminine because this is not a... Even though it's from the carnation, it, it, I mean, there is a slight, and I mean, maybe five, maybe 10% floral that's in the back, but that's not really what I get here. Uh, this one is one that's, I'm sorry, it's just really hard to describe because it's really complex. But what it does with wood, 
much less florals because it's for florals. It's really beautiful with floral. But putting it with wood, here's why I think you should put it with wood because I'm trying to figure out why do I think that. Because when I smell it, if you got a fresh wood, and I'm sorry, I can't tell you necessarily what type of wood. Um, my first thing that comes to mind may be mahogany, something like that. But if you get the wood and you cut it and it's fresh wood and you smell it, that little sharp, fresh note of wood, that's what I get in here. I'm not going to say, yeah, this is woody, but that, that sharp, fresh note of wood is in here. And it... Um, I think it brightens up the wood and gives a tiny, and I do mean a tiny bit of floral. Here you go. It's a modifier. I think it really is a great modifier for wood. I told you I'm just thinking off the top of my head, but to me, I'm really going into more depth and I'm really getting a, a really good picture of why I like certain things. So really hope this is helpful. Um, next one is Xenolide. Xenolite is a clean musk. I will tell you, I'm still working with the musk and really figuring them out. So before I even get into this, I find that with the musk, it's such an array. It's such a wide range where some are just dirty and overpowering and then um, some are really white clean musk that are really light and that type of stuff. This one is, I would put it in the lighter white type of musk that's um, clean, that's not going to take over a formula because I've, in working with some of the other musk I've used, even just a little bit, can take over the entire formula. And then on the dry down, that's kind of all you smell is this musky, sometimes um, animalic smell. That That's kind of all there is that's left for hours, and I don't like that. This one, however, is really beautiful. I've used it with florals. It really does go well with red fruits. You can detect a tiny bit. If uh, I'm not saying you have to work hard because you don't necessarily have to work hard of, of, at smelling this red fruit because it, it's in here. It's just subtle. It's really subtle, but it's a nice, beautiful musk that's clean. I really, really enjoy it. It, to me, it smells very natural. That's another reason I really like this a lot. So, here's your six, and um, I assure you, I guarantee you, I will be doing another six. I hope you like the new look, and I appreciate you watching. How about give me a thumbs up if you like this, and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and join me. I will be continuing to do this. I'm not going to stick just to this beginner's kit. I will absolutely be doing more like the videos that I've already done. I've done some other things like some stuff on naturals and although the, the beginner kit has naturals in it as well, but I'll be doing just some more informational videos and um, teaching videos, that type of thing. So have a good day and I will see you on the next video.